ChatGPT can do a lot of things for you, including getting integrated into other programs. My name is Abdullah. You're watching Ganado Technology, and in this video, we're going to talk about how you can integrate ChatGPT with Google Sheets. So as you can see, I am on my Google Sheets document, and I have a sample table posted here. Now, to integrate ChatGPT with Google Sheets, I'm first going to go to Extensions. and then i'm going to download the gpt for sheets and docs extension how do we do this head over to the add-ons part and then click on get add-ons this will open up the google marketplace for add-ons or the google workspace marketplace and i'm just going to search for chat gpt for sheets and uh, you will see a bunch of different options here so there is sheet gpt uh, numerous ai chat gpt for google slides and chat gpt for sheets and docs which is the one that i am using feel free to experiment with these in case uh, you want to see what works best for you once this is set uh, head over to the extension and instead of this uninstall button you will see an install button here since i have already installed it you can click on it and uh, install the extension once the extension is installed click on the extensions part again and then click on uh, gpt for sheets and docs and then open As you can see this is working and this will now open up in a sidebar here which is loading gpt for sheets we'll give it a quick second to load and now it's open so you can select the model right uh, on top as you can see all of these are paid and you can set uh, sort of api keys to use other models and fine tune models as well Uh, so I'm just going to use GPT-40 because that's the recommended one. And now you can run a uh, custom prompt. You can translate text. Uh, you can uh, extract information, reformat it, and you can of course run custom prompts. So I'm just going to run a custom prompt. Uh, keep asking you to install other tools. You don't really have to do that. So the first thing that we have to do is to select this start from row option. so uh, you can have it either to auto which will uh, run at the first empty cell of the result column after the first row and then uh, you can have how many rows you want to run uh, the tool itself recommends that you run it for the first one to three rows before running many rows uh, so that you do not override existing data so i'm just going to uh, type in a prompt here and i am going to make it uh, tell me the median salary from the table and then i can come down here and click on run three rows all right so put results in column we're going to put the result in column g and uh, the prompt needs to contain at least one column which in this case is going to be insert variables from salary and uh, now we should try running it and it should run just fine use our bulk ai tools more permissions are required so you're going to have to sign in with google before you can run this so select your google account give it the permissions that it needs so as you can see this needs permission to see edit create and delete all of your google spreadsheets because obviously and uh, now we have successfully authorized this page so now once we get back to our page we can go down here click on run three rows and as you can see this is now giving me three successful execution for each individual row um i can have uh, ask other questions like uh, let's say i can put the results in h let me just delete this information and uh, insert variables employ id or a so i am going to use e and i'm going to type in give me a number of departments let's try this one um let's get rid of e here and i'm going to add the departments are stored in the c column so i'm just going to go ahead and uh, use the department column here let's try running this runs the first three uh, rows so as you can see 
uh, it gives us a result on the number of departments in each uh, section so as you can see the number of it departments can vary widely based on organization on context a uh, number of departments within hr division can widely and a number of points in the marketing division can vary widely which is the marketing hr and it department rules that we ran and uh, that's it that's how easy it is to get chat gpt integrated with google sheets if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can be make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video